After numerous complaints of predatory booting in Rexburg, the city is thinking of giving booting companies the boot. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Jones is here with us. Luke, uh, people are complaining that booting companies are a little predatory. Exactly, Todd. In fact, one city official I spoke to says they're practically hiding behind bushes, waiting for folks to go inside for five seconds. When they come out, their car is booted. Last spring, BYU Idaho student Audra Brown was suffering from heart issues, so her aunt came to town to care for her. It was like late, like 10 o'clock at night, and I had an episode. We had to rush over to the hospital. And as if that wasn't enough drama for one night, wait until you hear what happened when they came home. She got booted. William Cook says he was also booted while visiting a friend's apartment. I was parked illegally. I wasn't where I was supposed to be, and I was booted, and it cost me the $50. Brown says her issue isn't so much the fact her aunt was booted, but how the booting company went about things. No one's calling them and asking them to remove the cars. No one's, not, the property owner isn't doing that. What's happening is they're going out and searching for who they can boot. The city of Rexburg is taking notice. They say they're routinely flooded with complaints from citizens. We know from the complaints that they're close by watching the parking lot and as soon as they see a car pull up that's not parked uh, with a sticker on it, then they sneak in and do the boot. The city calls this predatory booting, and they're doing something about it. The current ordinance gives booting and towing companies the right to monitor parking lots as long as they have the owner's permission. They want to replace that ordinance with this one, which makes it illegal to tow or boot a car unless specifically requested by a property owner. It would take away that profit motive for the boot, uh, take it from the booter's company to the owner of the property, which they would not have a proper, you know, a profit motive. And I wanted to point out we did want to reach out to the company that booted Audra, but we couldn't find any address for them aside from a P.O. box. We did check with the Better Business Bureau's website, and it appears they have an F rating. Live in the studio, I'm Luke Jones. The Rexburg City Council will be taking this issue up next month.